Welcome to M2. In this video, we're going to look at center of mass of a composite lamina. Now, a composite lamina is just two or more standard laminas joined together. And we will need to consider each part of the lamina to be able to find its overall center of mass. Now, as with a lot of these types of questions, it's far easier to explain with an example or two. So let's look at that now. So here we have a composite lamina, and what I need to do is split this up into essentially two rectangles, or a square and a rectangle. So I could separate it out across this way. Alternatively, I could separate it this way. Okay, doesn't really matter which way we choose. Um, I'm gonna go with this way, and it means I need to find this length here. Total length is 12, but we know that to here is six, because of the bottom. So this must also be six centimeters. Now my center of mass will be in the middle of these two areas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this O here, this origin point, as a, where I'm going to base my things on. So let's call this G1 and G2. So G1 is going to sit at the coordinates 3, 3, 3 across, 3 up from O and G2 is going to be 9 across, 5 up. So just going through these again, just to make sure we're clear. We're going from O. This is going to be in the center of this square. So it's 3 across, 3 up to get the center. When I'm looking at this one, within this rectangle, it's 3 across, 1 up but we moved from here. So we've actually gone six and that three, nine across, and then we've gone four and this one, so five up. Okay, so just being clear there. Now, these, <coughs> this lamina is a uniform lamina. That means that it's the same area or same mass throughout. Okay, it, the, its mass is evenly distributed. So when I'm looking at, you know, where the overall center of mass is going to be, the size of the area of the shape is also going to be determining the mass of that part of the shape. You know, if I look at this, the area here is larger than this area here. So this is actually going to have a larger mass. But because it's a uniform lamina, these masses are going to be in proportion. So we don't need to worry too much about actually using a mass here because, as I said, they're just in proportion to do with the area. So what we want to find is the area of each. So the first one is th 6 times 6, which is 36. And for my second shape, we get 6 times 2, which is 12. So this is now the proportion. Okay, 36 to 12. And the total area is obviously 36 plus 12 which is 48. Alternatively you could have put this information in a kind of small table you know it's uh, totally up to you kind of how you end up setting it out just pop on a table here for you to show. So there's an example quick little table sketch of a table just showing the same information so if you want you know you can area and the coordinates area the coordinates of the center area and obviously the corners that we want to find so setting this up we've got an area of 36 and its position is 3 3 an area of 12 this position is 9, 5, 
and then the total area of 48 the next position is x bar and y bar so very much like previous questions now it's just a matter of sort, sorting this out and solving for x and solving for y So I'm just multiplying by the outer value here, just to get these. So in total, we got 216 and 168. Obviously, you don't have to take every single step here. Um, I'm just doing it to make it clear for you guys to follow. Now, I wanna divide by 48, and that'll give me nine over two and 7 over 2. So you can now see that my x bar is 9 over 2 or 4.5, y bar is 7 over 2 or 3.5. Now we could have split it up differently, you know we could have split it across this way. I'm not going to split it across this way and but if you did split it that way, you would get the same answer. Um, I am going to show a second method with this though. Uh, and this method would be if I made this a full rectangle. And I'm showing this method because it will help with other questions. Whereas just showing splitting this way is just the same as this. So here we go. Same question again. This time... Imagine exp expanding this to a full rectangle. Okay, and this is six and this is gonna be four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine the full rectangle minus this cutout rectangle. So, you know, this is gonna be my center here. Let's call this one G2. And then somewhere in the middle of my full rectangle is going to be my G1. So, so just for kind of clarity here, this one's 12 by 6 and G1 is in the center. This one is 4 by 6 and obviously G2 will be in the center of that one. And they're measured again from O. So this time I'll use a table. Now the area of the large rectangle is 6 times 12 which is 72 and the center of that is going to be 6 across 3 up. Okay, the middle of that shape. The smaller shape where my g2 is this one here 4 times 6 is going to be 24 so it's got an area of 24 okay and it's a cutout area so i'm going to put it as a negative 24 because that's an area we're going to take away and then in terms of where it is here it's obviously three across two up but we've come from the origin so just think 6 and 3 is 9, and then 2 up. So we get 9 across, 2 up. So just being careful there, you know, we go 6 across, plus then our 3, 9. And then we start at the bottom anyway, so 2 up. Here, it's still 2 up. And then obviously my total area here will be 48. 72 minus 24, and it's x bar and y bar. And then the same kind of setup as before. So the area multiplied by the position, we've got the area multiplied by the position and the area multiplied by its position. So same as, you know, previous videos, nice and easy now. So all I want to do here is multiply these out. And next, I need to take these away. So 432 take away 2 and 6, and 2 and 6 take away 48. At this point now, you should recognize that this is the same line we had in the previous question. So dividing by the 48, give me 9 over 2 and 
seven over two. So we got our X value is a nine over two or four point five and our Y value seven over two or four point five. So hopefully that one was easy to follow as well. Um, sometimes some of the questions we do within this is going to have cut out sections of it and the cut out section we can just deal with like we did here as a negative area. Now what I'm going to do is give you a few to try yourself and as always I'll go through the answers at the back or end of the video I should say. First thing on this one, if Q is the center of the rectangle, then it must be at 2A across and A up. And we're gonna need that to be able to work this out. Now with this one, I'm going to start off by just putting my information into this table, what I know so far. So 23 over A, somewhere up here, that's where the center of mass lies because it's from, sorry, it's a bit closer down there, it's from B, 23 over 8A. So if I do three minus that, as it's a, a radius there, then that will give me one eighth. Because I'm gonna do everything from uh, the origin. So looking at this large area, pi r squared, so we're thinking pi r squared. Now for the first one, that's pi times three a squared. So nine a pi or better 9 pi a squared there so 9 pi a squared is that large circle area the center of mass of that circle is 0 0 because it's at the origin isn't it my second circle the smaller one um, I'll leave that a second let's do the final shape so the final shape from A, we have 1 eighth A, and obviously Y is just at the origin. I don't have to worry about the, the Y. What I've got to do, do is look at this smaller circle. Now it has a radius of X, so it's pi X squared for its area. And this is X, and we're gonna take away that area, aren't we? 
So we basically got uh, 9 pi a squared minus pi times x squared. Now we can forget about these y values, so just get rid of that bottom bit because they're not going to be affected, we don't need to, to think about them too much. Now just before I go any further, I need to make this a negative x because if I'm comparing everything to the origin, this is a minus x in terms of its coordinate. The distance is x, but its coordinate is minus x. So just uh, be aware there what we've got. Now, we've got 9 pi a squared multiplied by 0 minus pi x squared multiplied by negative x and 9 pi a squared minus pi x squared multiplied by a over 8, that 1 eighth a there. So a couple of things I can do to simplify this and get rid of that, multiply by 0. I can see clearly there's pi here and there's pi's in both terms over here. So I can simplify this by getting rid of my pi's. That's going to give me a positive x cubed. I've got 9a cubed over 8 minus a over 8x squared. So x cubed plus a over 8x, sorry, x squared, and minus 9 a cubed over 8 equals 0. Now, the next bit um, really kind of comes down to a bit of observation. If you don't spot this, this is where you're going to get stuck. So look at this one. This 9a cubed over 8. I'll write it over here. 9a cubed over 8. As a mixed number, that's 1 and 1 eighth a cubed, isn't it? Now if I look at here, that's an x cubed. Like 1x cubed, isn't it? And there's like almost my eighth. 1 and an eighth, 1 and an eighth. But look, you've got an a here and obviously an x squared. So if a was x squared, so if a was x, we'd have x cubed plus 1 eighth x cubed minus one eighth, one and one eighth x cubed. So this one, like I said, it's all about observation. Okay, so we are seeing that x is equal to a. Now knowing that x equals a helps us out massively. Okay, because that means that we know that x minus a is a factor. And we can factorize. Now um, you should be able to factorize this, so I'm just going to skip down to what this part of the equation was. Once I factorized, this is what I would end up with. Now, with this one, the discriminant is negative. Therefore, x equals a is only solution. Okay, so that distance there is just the distance of a. The coordinate is a negative a. And that's how we solve this problem. Hopefully you follow everything and you've got some use out of this video. Don't forget to check back soon for more videos in this particular series. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below.